of course, the home of the Australian Open Golf this year. I've got to tell you, Jason Day just down on the practice fairway right now. Saw him just a short time ago. But what I want to talk to you about this is big money. The reason for that, in just the next couple of years, the Australian Open is going to go to Melbourne. It'll be the first time in 2020 in 15 years that Melbourne has had the Australian Open. And what that's all about is about money and also the absolute competition between major events between the states. Melbourne used to have the Masters. Tiger Woods won his last major event there. But there's other things also. Say, for example, the NRL Grand Final. You've had Suncorp Stadium in Brisbane always arguing that it's got a big supporter base. It should have a, a an NRL Grand Final. And say, for example, even in racing, you saw just a short time ago that one of the richest turf races on the planet, and that was the Everest. Now, that was deliberately done by Randwick to try and make certain they got a one-up over, say, for example, the Melbourne Cup and the Spring Carnival there as well. But there's plenty of other things around the place as well that are also competed for. Say, for example, you've got the Grand Prix that went from Adelaide to Melbourne. And, uh, of course, Adelaide has got major events these days. But there's one interesting one that I thought was kind of curious in this $160 billion battle for tourism, and that is... Harry Potter. Now, Melbourne and Sydney both competed vigorously with their major events companies, went to London to try and get the Harry Potter and the Cursed Child stage play to come. Melbourne ultimately won, even though it disbanded its major events company. So you can see that these big events are massive business, not only for tourists coming into town, but also for international tourist dollars that are so important to Australia's economy. Anyway, this is all about the kickoff. The Dow Jones Index of US shares overnight had a brilliant night, up 165 points. Dollar sitting at 75.6 US cents.